So uh, this is our 2019 Wooly Rhinoceros figure uh, from our Prehistoric World Collection. And I'm really excited about it because it's actually the first time we're uh, coming back to this figure in over 20 years. This is our guy from 1997 uh, that we released in conjunction with the Smithsonian Museum. Uh, you can see it's, it's a lot less detailed, it's a lot more cartoony. It was good for the time, but I mean, you know, 20 years does a lot. So it's really exciting to see the things, like the strides we've made on this. Like, I'm really excited to see what our fans are gonna think. Um, because we actually know a lot about these, even though it's a prehistoric animal. Uh, they found like mummies in Siberia, so we have really well-preserved, uh, really well-preserved remains of these that we've been able to figure out a lot of what they look like. So things like the horn, like it was actually a lot more blade-like and thin than, uh, than today's rhinos, and we've captured that, uh, you know, as opposed to like the cone shape of a modern rhino. So we've captured that in this figure. It's got these stri the striping around it, which is an actual feature on the rhino's uh, horns. So it's just really nice, the shape of it. You know, we've seen, we see them in cave paintings a lot. So we know what the shape of them was and what the coloration was. This dark area here that's, that's featured in cave paintings. So we've just been able to update it a lot uh, in line with modern scientific discoveries. So I'm really, really pumped about this figure. I like it a lot. Yeah, I think our fans are really gonna like it because it just, it just the pose and the way it seems to be in a charging position. If you look at any online and any blogs for prehistoric figures or dinosaurs, I mean, this is this is what it looks like. It is just a really, really cool figure in a really cool pose. Well, I feel like our fans will really take away from this figure since it does give them another prehistoric mammal option to the already extensive prehistoric uh, collection that we have. And the other detail on it is just really amazing. It kind of elevates it more than what it already is. Like you were saying, it's, it's not another dinosaur, it's, it's something different. It's, yeah. It expands the range of the prehistoric world line, for sure. I think you can really see how far we've come as a company with our ability to add a lot of detail and pack in detail on our toys. And this fits so well with some of the other toys we've introduced over the past few years. So you're really seeing the detail, how dynamic the, the toys look. And I think it speaks for itself compared to what we've done in the past. So it's really, really exciting to see where we've uh, where we've grown and how we can improve on our items for our fans. So definitely a great new toy. That will be a fan favorite for sure. sure.